In my former video, Theophilus, I explained the life of Christ in three minutes. Now I'm going to tell you the rest of the story. After being crucified, Jesus comes back to life and hangs out with the apostles. He tells them they will receive the Holy Spirit and be his witnesses. Jesus takes off. The disciples are gathered together on Pentecost when the Holy Spirit arrives. Tongues of fire hover over them, hence the logo. The disciples speak in tongues. Peter preaches the first sermon. 3,000 people get saved. God, one, Satan, zero. The end of Acts chapter 2 is written, providing mission statements for churches in the 21st century. Peter heals a lame man and preaches another sermon. Another 2,000 people get saved. Peter and John are thrown in jail. They are released. Peter and John celebrate with the other believers and pray for continued boldness. God rocks the house, literally. Ananias and Sapphira lie about their offering to the church and are struck dead. Contributions skyrocket. The apostles preach again. They are thrown in jail again. An angel releases them. They preach some more. The apostles nominate seven deacons to look after widows and orphans, including Stephen, a man full of faith in the Holy Spirit. Stephen is stoned. Present at the stoning is a young man named Saul. We'll come back to that later. Persecution breaks out, believers scatter, things look bad for the church. Or do they? Wherever the believers go, they preach the word, thus fulfilling the Great Commission. God, two, Satan, still, zero. Philip meets a eunuch, the eunuch is baptized. Meanwhile, Saul is on his way to persecute believers in Damascus when Jesus appears. Saul is blinded, Saul is healed. Saul repents and begins preaching to the same people he intended to persecute. God, three, Satan, well, you get the idea. Peter has a vision of unclean animals. Peter has an encounter with unclean Gentiles. He gets it. God has extended salvation to the Gentiles. Major game changer. Herod is eaten by worms. Barnabas and Paul start working together, traveling and preaching the word. By the way, I'm going to call Saul Paul now. I don't have time to explain why. Still with me? In Lystra, crowds attempt to worship Paul and Barnabas as gods. They refuse to be worshipped and are stoned. The Lystrians are a tough crowd. Paul and Barnabas survive. Paul and Barnabas part ways. Paul and Silas team up. Timothy joins Paul and Silas. Paul circumcises Timothy. Paul receives a vision of a man from Macedonia asking for help. The party leaves for Macedonia. Spoiler alert, they are thrown in prison yet again. They sing. An earthquake loosens their shackles, but they stick around to lead the jailer to Christ. Yada, 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 more preaching. In Troas, Paul preaches for so long that a man falls asleep and plummets out a window to his death. The man is resurrected. Paul preaches some more. The man wishes he was dead. Paul returns to Jerusalem, where he is promptly arrested again. He is visited by the Lord, who assures him that Paul will testify about him in Rome. Paul feels better. Paul is transferred to Caesarea, where his case is caught up in red tape for two years. Finally, Paul appeals to Caesar and is put on a fast ship to Rome. The shipwrecks. Paul is bitten by a snake. At last, Paul makes it to Rome. He is placed under house arrest and continues to preach the gospel while awaiting trial. And that is all we know of Paul's story. Somewhere in there, he finds the time to write a few letters. Today, they comprise much of the New Testament. The New Testament is also where you'll find the book of Acts. The end.